Bienvenida, Dominic. Gracias por la oportunidad. Es un honor. Quisiera hablarle sobre cuál es su experiencia en Les Yocondes y en Inma. And the first question is about your experience in Les, Yos Les Yocondes and Inma. And en Inma. Les Yocondes and en Inma. Les... Ah, okay. So, uh, the experience in um, Les Yocondes. Um, well, I just can tell you, it's, um, I got a great memory. My friend and other person say, Dominique, it's incredible how you remember the things. My family, they, they say, you remember so little things, but las recondes. I remember nothing. <laughs> I don't know where it was, what it was about, who was the guy who uh, realized, I mean, uh, who was director. I don't remember. I just don't remember. I have maybe on my CV, my curriculum vitae, it's written. I just don't remember. Maybe something happened that shocked me. I don't know. Um, Enigma. I'm just drinking a bit of tea because I'm tired. I see Jack in the bar drinking glasses. He was a great guy. He had the first role of M Martin Gray. Uh, uh, you know the story. Uh, the house of Martin Gray that burned out totally and he he, he lost all his family and he began everything again. So it was the and there it's something that was mixed up with the war with the Jewish uh, and everything. Budapest uh, uh, I I searched Jack something like all my life without um uh, I mean in my head I I was hoping to see him again and one day I realized he was dead uh, uh, and for what I heard uh, about him. Uh, it seems like he decided to quit life. Uh, he was too, he was too, too, uh, in kind of a poetical way of life in his mind. And I can understand that was not able to live in this world. So I don't know. I think he... He drank or took medicines. I don't know. Um, when I arrived in Budapest, the hotel had a big lift. Uh, how do how do you call this? Uh, you know, to go up and to go down. What is that in the Elevator. in the hotel without uh, climbing stairs? Elevator. Elevator. Yeah. A big elevator from which you saw all the hotel. And it was my, my my second or third hotel. And I was very... I loved the hotels. And I, I was somebody of the street, you know. I, I mean, my parents come from um, a high middle class. But... I always felt uh, somebody of the street. I uh, I love everybody, uh, not uh, less than my family. Uh, I love you, human beings, and we are all in the same boat, you know. And so the hotel, being with other people and everything, I loved all this. And this hotel was absolutely great uh when i came back there uh something like 30 years later 
I searched the hotel, and I found uh, it was still great. So when I came in Budapest, the first time from the airport to the hotel, we passed one of the sequences being shooted from the film. And there was a big piano, burning the piano because of the war and everything. It was this second. I was before a pianist. I gave concerts and everything. And I saw this piano burning. In a certain kind, I burned my piano. When people wanted me to, wanted to make me be a concert girl, piano concertist, I pushed my piano. I had, I loved music, but I didn't want to climb a stair to be a great pianist, you know, all this bordel shit. And in, in kind of, in, I I pushed my piano. I didn't want to see it anymore. And my my my, my parents, my my all the around me, they say, What do you do, Dominic? I just didn't answer and um, and then I began with theater. I began with sleeping and with theater. So I saw this piano and I was not shocked. And I, in my head, the picture is very strong. I love this picture. It's it's strong. It's uh, it's. I mean, it's suffering, uh, but it's very strong. Um, then we began to shoot, and this shooting was in English as much as in French. And I have a very calm memory of all the scenes, uh, a pleasant memory, uh, but not so strong of the being shooted film than of the people. As much, as much to the people as the actors. I mean, it was equal for me, the shooting and the being in bar uh, and the life. No different. I was in life. And I, I was just uh, saying the words that my, my role had to say. And then I say I talk in the life, and no problem to go for from one to another. I didn't have a real conscious of uh, shooting a film, being shooting a film. Uh, there was a a, a a German actor in the film, which became producer, which was already producer, I think, and. It happened that in a week that I had in between, that I had free in between the 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 shooting, I went with him in Germany, and it was the period of Carnaval. You know Carnaval. You see what it is. Yes. And I began to lose myself in the Carnaval. <gasps> what did I do? I don't know. I danced, I I drank, I was drinking in this period. I don't drink anymore. Uh, I was very happy. And I was going from Paris to Budapest, Budapest to Munich, Munich to Budapest, saying the words of the film, saying the words of the life, drinking in bars, loving the people the role as much as the people in the life. And then I began to love Budapest. Oh, this town. This this uh, river 
that crosses Budapest. It's very straight that you could not imagine. And then you walk in the street again and come in and enter another building and it's another world and another building and it's another world. And I love this. Another color and another way of being together. Each time you come into a building, it seems like the apartments are not se totally separated. That it's kind of a community because the balcons, balcon, you understand balcon? Balcon is the the part of the apartment which is outside, but it's your part. So it's kind of a a uh, thing like this, you know, quartet, quartet, and they seem together. I think I have a strong um, communism in me, you know, and I I found it back in this way of uh, structuring, struct of the the way the town was structured. He was like this. He was completely uh, shooted, you know, with alcohol or I don't know. And it was going straight and the river was going straight and this guy was going like this. And it seemed to me like, like if this was a picture of the life. I remember this picture of a guy going like this in the night and I was going straight. And the river also, and it seemed for me like, like if life was straight, you know, straight. And this guy, he was like a prophecy. Well, this is what I have to say from this experience. Um, the the director and the people, the the guys. You know, on the film, you use French uh, actors and French uh, assistant and everything, but they used technicians that that were from Budapest. They didn't eat with us inside. They ate in for for dinner for for. Um, Ah, oh, amen. Uh, for dinner, <laughs> dinner in the night and dinner in the middle of the day. Well, uh, I don't remember the <laughs> the word. They ate outside. This was a shock for me. And another thing, uh, they were figurants. We say in French. A train uh, and Jewish people climbing in the in the train, and there was a guy who had a little role of a Nazi. Uh, the Jewish had had to come in the train to climb in the train, and the Nazi, the role of the Nazi had to 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 say, please. Uh, uh, climb uh, and and faster, you know. And he he began to make the secrets. The guy who played the role of the Nazi and Robert Enrico came and said, "But you don't know how to make somebody climb in a train. Please, you take him and put him in the train." And doing this, he broke the arm of. The guy who played the extra. This was a shock for me. This, okay, to make cinema, to make a good film, they're able of everything. Even uh, being unhuman, you know. But for me, making cinema is trying to be a little bit more human than we are today. <laughs> if...
something is still here of humanity. I'd be very happy to see this film again. But sometimes I'm bored of articles, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's by periods. Periods are, ah, shit, uh, I just, it bothers me. Uh, I know that it's everywhere uh, so difficult. Um, and some periods I have to, I have to read, 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 read. Um, I, I did, I will not talk here about, uh, what I could do, uh, in connection and what I can do still today in connection with the world and not only with actors acting and, and artists and everything, uh, Every day I search how my job has a connection with being a little bit more human, you know. We can say uh, this is my experience on Enigma. I'd like to see, see this film. I'd be very happy to see this film again. Okay. Yes, uh, uh, Dominique. Thank you so much. The time is running off. I will ask John to sit for that film. He if he can share you, and you can say mm, the camera is yours. So say uh, hi to Colombia, to wherever you want. Tell your social media. Latin America. For us, for Latin America, wherever you want. For us, it's a bit. Thank you. Uh, I'm a fan of you in, in the movies. I'll interview of Titan, but the camera the time is running off. So send us a bit goodbye for us. Is a bit thank you. Yes. Okay. I will just ask you, where is Colombia? Colombia is in the north of South America. We are in the border. In fact, we are live in the border with Venezuela. Cucuta is at the north of Colombia, and yes, it's up up in the north. Uh, okay. Do you are happy? Are you happy over there? Uh, yes, it's crazy because there is like a phrase that we say that this is the happiest place on the world. Uh, it's full of riddles, but we are people that uh, we we are, we are hopeful. Like we always got the hope that everything will be all right. Okay. Um, are there uh, real political problems, uh, serious problems over there? Yes, Dominic. It's crazy because uh, after many years of the of the uh, the rights, like you know, the fascist uh, ruling here, finally we got a government of the left, but the country still fighting. It's like we don't we we are we are we got like a new way of, of politics, so people is not happy. This is a country that always had lead in conflict. With the guerrilla, with the paramilitares, with mm -hmm. the army, uh, it's a sad history. But we, we are hopeful. Things okay. will be okay. Thank you for asking. I, 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 I'd be happy if you write me few lines about Colombia and your uh, and the way of being happy there. Uh, uh, and the way of being unhappy a little bit. I like I like to to feel what is happening in the world. I I hear people, I listen to friends. But sometimes I'm bored of articles, you know. Uh, it's uh, it's by periods. Periods are ah shit. Uh, I just it bothers me. Uh, I know that it's everywhere uh, so difficult, um, and some periods I have to I have to read, 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 read. Um, I I did I will not talk here about uh, what I could do uh, in connection and what I can do still today in connection with the world and not only with actors acting and and artists and everything uh, 
every day I search how my job has a connection with being a little bit more human, you know. So, uh, okay, let's uh, invite me to Colombia one day, <laughs> okay? Okay. <laughs>